Hey everyone, I finally got a new microphone and the audio quality, how you probably are hearing, is a lot better. So I set a few more things up in our colony here. So first of all, I told our Sir Lumberjack here to not cut any acacia saplings, trees. So he should get us more oak because we can't use the acacia wood for a lot of things. The miner is working nicely here as well. The builder is busy making space here. I had some small issues because he was falling off the gap and I lost a builder like that as well. So it was not as funny. But we got a nice new builder working now. Let's see what he wants as well. And then we can continue our colony planning. He wants a shovel. And I got one around here. Give him two already. Yep. Yeah. Okay, here you go, my friend. So, Josia is working on building our stuff now, and we can think about the next steps. So, since a colony is limited to four citizens at the start, you will have to build housing quite soon. So, upgrading the town hall is an option, but it's quite expensive. So the best way is to go with a citizen hut. No, this citizen hut, let's check for the recipe, is a torch in the middle, planks around and as always the pull tool on top. Um, planks in the middle, I have no torches and the pull tool is with me, okay. And planks around it, so. Now, Per citizen hut level, you can get one citizen. Now, there is one restriction, and this is that per citizen that you have to fill four levels first for your existing citizens, so they are not homeless anymore, before you start getting new citizens. So, it is way easier to get two level two huts than one level four hut, because level, higher level huts require more specific materials and a higher level builder which needs more specific materials as well. So, let's see. We got our builder here, Lambo check behind. Probably got more workers in this direction here with the fisherman as well. The town hall is nicely here. So I think this corner here fits quite nicely for our citizens. So, I want to have it on a similar level. So I think this Y level is okay. So let's place it. We want it of the we want all of the same style. Medieval oak. Yep. Citizen hat. Right level as well. So something you have to take care of is that you don't put the things underground. So usually it's always good to see the total size of a schematic before you place it. There are some schematics which have underground structures and with, if you place them manually it will look like this. So it seems like it might be right but then when you put it up once you see nah they were one. So it's always good to play around a bit with the build tool to find out how it's supposed to be. So we want one here. Uh, maybe one more to the How does it look on level 5? Yep. Looks nice. Direction as well. Yep. Okay. I approve. And now the next one, we're going to make magic. So. And we want it exactly the other way around. No. Yep. So. We gotta have it. Bit more closer here. Sounds good. Look uh, at the front. Goodness. Here's the citizen hut. The dimensions are right as well. Let's put it on level one. Where's the citizen hut? Here. Oh, that's. So two more. 
All right, right now, one more. And it's to say it as well. Looking sharp. Okay. Let's see. Yep, that's perfect. Nope. Messed up. Okay, let's gather this back. Oh, let me get a X really quick. So we developed a bunch of new things in the last days. We published our update log as well on on Discord. I'm I linked Discord in the description as well. If anyone is interested. Dun, dun, dun. So one of the things we implemented is a PvP mode of mine colonies. So this is going to be quite interesting because it will allow you to make colony war between other colonies. Is this the level? Yeah. And is this the same precision? Yes. Okay, sounds good. And this where it should go as well, is it? Sounds good as well. Took. Uh, nope. Right? Sure. Hmm. I'm a bit confused now. Something is not right with this building. Now I get to sleep real quick and then I will check on this building place and again let it work as work so I see the zombie die again yes good so it's insane now what is this what did I mess up hmm? Okay, I'm not looking in the eyes of the Zenderman. I'm not looking, not looking, not looking. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, no. Yeah. Yes. I think I missed something up here with this building here. Okay, this one has to be one more up. That looks fine. Door out is here. Ah, well, let me check something. Ah, this is the site, isn't it? Yes. No, it's like this. Uh, I know this is the side we want. Yes, yes. Okay, this is to make sure the level. Okay. I think we have bingo nice okay perfect now we gotta wait for our build to finish something which is always really important when you start your color your gun in the beginning don't push it too early because barbarians are starting to raid your colony when you got more than four workers so it makes really sense to get your colony going to a decent level before starting to get a fifth worker because then barbarians are going to show up so it's always good to have a guard as the fifth worker you want oakwood so 
after the guard so we're going to build the builder to level two the lumber check to level level two the two citizen huts to two and the miner to level two and then we're going to build a guard town and when that's ready we're going to upgrade one of the citizen huts so we are going to start with a guard and we are going to be prepared for all kinds of shenanigans of the barbarians which will be really important so they don't kill all our people now after that i always suggest building starting to build a warehouse and a delivery man to get your colony going with more automatically delivering all your stuff you need etc which will be really important let's give him all, all this oak stuff as well really quick I just remembered we just added a new item to the game as well which is the resource scroll so as you can as you saw this is the resource scroll just this recipe here and if you do it right and you right click shift right click the building it registers to the builder and now you have a portable list so we need oat slabs, fence and stairs so let's get some stairs going yep then let's get some slabs going and now let's get some fences going so and I don't have to sprint back because I need to check I have enough stairs I'm missing fences and slabs still 54 of them so more slabs wait in more than enough okay oh, I'm bad with numbers today 38 fences so I need more fence okay there we go fence now we have more than enough so something you can also do is always put more resources than your builder needs in his chest he will take things out of his chest not to rob him he's flexible with that as you can see he will make coarse dirt as well but mister doesn't have any gravel anymore that other builder who died lost the gravel with him no that's andesite that's gravel okay mister here's your gravel let's cancel that and he got himself that where's your coarse dirt oh, he's going to notice the coarse dirt later so he's going to run to the building site notice that he needs cursed dirt he noticed that and he crafted it already so it's something we have to improve with the system that if he has the materials with him to craft a certain recipe he should craft it and not run back to his building we're running back to tell his wife what great crafter he is just made coarse dirt okay He's still on his way, he's slow today. Okay. So something else we added new to the game is the happiness bar you see here. So happiness is quite important in the colony because it influences how good the worker skills are your workers come to life with. Depending on the colony happiness, the new colonists which are born get a certain happiness factor and from that we calculate the max skills they get we are just implementing a library at the moment which allows you to skill up workers so as I already said the skill doesn't uh, influence the speed it influences the speed they level with and the level influences the speed so the better the skills the higher the level and the higher the level the faster they are so there's no need to kill your worker because if you kill him you're going to get worse citizen and they will be leveling slower so even if your builder has a level already like he it's really worth sticking to him because 
they will level up and they will get better and better. The higher their work building is, they will level faster as well. And the maximum level depends on their home building and we usually cap that to a maximum level of 50. And it's as Minecraft each level needs double the experience of the previous level. So, so the new happiness system is colonist individual and it depends really on how well saturated he is, how many lives he has, how much time he spends not having a job, how much time he spends not being saturated. We're going to optimize it a bit and we're going to add a second page to the colonist user interface as well to display this information so it's easier for people to access. So I think Josiah here, Mr. Compton, is going to finish this building quite nicely.